device. Um, now, if you have an Apple TV or if you bought an Apple TV, most likely you already have an iPhone or iPad. That's probably why you bought an Apple TV. So I'm going to show you a way how you can set up an Apple TV using your iPhone or iPad. I'm just going to use my iPhone 5S here. So it'll tell you on the screen is that you can use an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch running iOS 7 to automatically set up your Apple TV. And all you have to do is unlock your device and enable Bluetooth and touch this Apple TV with your iPhone. Um, so we're going to do that now. We're just going to set it on top of here. And it'll bring up automatic setup. <clears throat> and on my iPhone, it'll tell me to enter in my Apple ID password. So I'm going to do that now off screen. So I entered in my password. I'm going to click OK. Would you like Apple TV to remember your password? It's probably a good idea that I click yes. Uh, privacy stuff, send data to Apple. I'm going to say no because I'm not really a big fan of that. And we wait. Uh, screen still thinking. Setting up Apple TV. And now I'm assuming it's connecting to my Wi-Fi network. So it's activating my Apple TV, accessing the iTunes store. Looks like we're okay. And we're at the home screen, and it looks like we're all ready to go. So as you can see, that's all there is to it. Um, it connects my Apple ID to the Apple TV. It automatically connects the Apple TV to the Wi-Fi network. It does all that um, just using your iPhone or iPad on Bluetooth. Now, as far as connecting to Netflix, Hulu Plus, um, HBO Go, all those streaming services, you'll obviously have to enter uh, those passwords individually when you open up those applications on your Apple TV. So even though you automatically set up your Apple TV with your iPhone or your iPad, uh, there's still some things that you have to set up manually. So you'll really just go into settings and um, kind of tweak things to how you want them. So as far as the time zone, you'll have to set that. 